In this video, we will tackle the tricky scenario of an amount equaling a percentage. For example, if you pay £40.50 towards a bill and that contribution represents 27% of the overall bill, how much is the overall bill? If that question sounds challenging or time consuming, then keep watching because this type of question is guaranteed to come up once or twice in the quantitative reasoning subtest. Our objectives over the next six minutes or so are to show you how to find a total amount given only a quantity and the percentage it represents and explore the diverse ways in which the UK CAT quantitative reasoning subtest can test this skill. Let's jump straight into it. To teach you how to find a total from a percentage, let me use the question I gave you in my introduction. You pay £40.50 towards a bill and your contribution represents 27% of the overall bill. So how much is the overall bill? The method is stunningly simple. You divide the quantity by the percentage. £40.50 divided by 0.27 equals £150. Therefore, the total bill was £150. I doubt there is a quicker or more effective shortcut in the entire UK CAT. The method does require you to know that 27% equals 0.27 when it's expressed as a decimal. If you are ever not sure what a percentage is as a decimal, simply divide it by 100. Let's start with a simple question. Try to do this one in less than the 40 seconds allocated. Question 1. Amira passes the 2 km mark of her race and is told that she has completed 16% of the distance. How long is the overall race? Hopefully you did 2 km divided by 0.16. We always divide the amount by the percentage it represents. 2 divided by 0.16 equals 12.5. Her race is 12.5 km long altogether. Try a question on the same topic when you have to find the data in a table. The table shows what percentage of the total word count of three student dissertations were completed in each of the five weeks before the dissertation was due in. Question 2. Jethro wrote 6,240 words for his dissertation in week 4. How many words did his final dissertation contain? We know from the table that Jethro completed 52% of his total word count in week 4. From the question, we know this was 6,240 words. We therefore have an amount, 6,240 words equaling a percentage, 52%. So if we apply our new favourite shortcut, we should divide 6,240 by 0.52 to give us 12,000. Jethro's final dissertation was 12,000 words long, and option E was therefore the correct answer choice. Here is one more question with the same table. Once again, you should aim to do this in less than 40 seconds.
Question 3 also applies to the same table. Emma wrote 5,400 words for her dissertation in the last two weeks before it was due in. How many words did her final dissertation contain? Weeks 4 and 5 represent the last two weeks before Emma's dissertation was due. In those two weeks, she completed 28% plus 8%, which equals 36% of her total word count. The question tells us that she wrote 5,400 words in this time period. Again, we have an amount equaling a percentage. So, using our shortcut, 5,400 divided by 0.36 gives us 15,000 words. Therefore, this is the total word count of her dissertation, and the correct answer choice is option D. Feel free to re-watch the video and retry the questions if you're anything less than 100% confident in the method. If you feel like you've got it, congrats! That concludes another UCAT lesson. If you like the strategies and content we're developing and want to see more free content, please leave us a like and don't forget to subscribe. If you have any UCAT questions, leave us a comment below and we'll help you sort it out and get your preparation up to speed.